two, three. Yep. Hey beautiful, welcome back to my yeah. channel. And if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today I went to Walmart and there was some good stuff that just came out. I'm super excited. I went for the infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation that has been going viral all over TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So I picked up a few of them because I was like, I don't know what shade I might be when I was there. Oh, and I did pick up this one. A few family members say, said to get the tan medium deep, but what caught my eye was the new Perfusion goodies. I know this has been out for quite some time, but this is an exclusive launch with Walmart. So this is the Perfusion Love You So Brunch, and it is 21 shades. It's so freaking cute. It's like shaped shaped as a waffle super freaking adorable they also came out with sugar sparkles face and body glitter cute they also came out with the lamosa soft matte lip tints this is so freaking cute it's like wine bottles and then there was two highlighters but i got the one that would um that that would fit me i'm trying not to get what i don't you know, like, don't get it all. Just get what you like, you know? So I got this one. This is a Whipped Glow Mousse Highlighter. Whip it good. And then I grabbed the Lip Syrup Sparkling Lip Topper in Cinnamon. Now there's two of these, but I just grabbed this one because I gravitated it to it more. Guys, everything was $92.89. I'm whispering because I don't want my, da my dad. <laughs> I don't want my babe to hear. So let's start with the eyes. I'm gonna zoom you guys in, we're gonna get started. So my eyes are still <laughs> uh, stained from yesterday's makeup look, but that's okay. So let's go in with the palette. I did swatch it, I swatched everything, I was really impressed. I was actually really impressed with this as well. It kinda has like a kind of like moussey texture and this is absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to play with it. All right, let's go into our eyes. I'm gonna go in with my AOA shadow or more. These are only a book, you guys. I will link them down below, and I'm just going to cut them right in half. Save some more monies. Babe, what color should I use in this palette? Oh, lime green. I knew you were gonna pick that one. You wanna see what color? Um, two. Oh, okay, okay, that one too? Yeah. Just like your daddy. Yeah. All right, let's see. go in with the avocado color, like Rudy said. So we're gonna go in with Donut Ask in a little bit of the acai oh, color. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, nice. Nice. And I'm using a Royal Lanical crease brush. So the acai color and Donut Ask. That's freaking cute. And we're just going to just go back and forth and buff that shade in the crease. Just like that. She's smelling the palette. You smell good? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, go so now I'm gonna go in with waffles. This shade right here. And we will be using a Morphe brush, this one right here. I just wanna add it right there a little. Oh. To help kind of not make that right there so intense. Going back in with that color, going back and forth. It's crazy that he said green because we do got green. We're gonna go in with the P Louise. This one is in Hint of Mint. I do want to deepen up the crease just a little bit more. We're gonna go in with a Luxie 229 Tapered Blending. And we're just going to go in with a Sai color. I'm gonna blend that right there. I'm gonna go in with a Royal Lane Nickel brush and we're going to just mix it in with that. Now we're gonna go into the avocado shade, this shade right here, with a Makeup Shack T48. I'm just going to just tap this on there. That green is beautiful. I'm going with my finger is really bringing out the color. I do want to play with this. I did order this not that long ago. This is a Retro Rainbow Palette. So these, all you have to do is just add a little bit of water and it activates it. Do you think it's too green? Like green on green? <gasps> Let's do blue. I was, gonna, I was going to do green, but blue. All right, I think that's good. I think that's good. So we're just going to go. I 
I like it. I love it a lot. Mm -hmm. I do want to use some of this though. I have to. I have to. So I'm going to grab some of this, which I know is going to be beautiful. Going in with the Makeup Shack T69. I'm going to grab... Oh, should I? I don't know. Should I? I always use my fingers just to like give it like a love tap just to see. Maybe like a little bit. Okay, we're just going to do a little bit. I don't want to use this because I know this is going to bring it add a lot. I'm scared. Ooh, you are on there. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. I'm like so like, oh. Where I sweated too much, it just came off so easily. So I did read your guys' comments and a lot of you were saying to give this a chance. So I'm gonna keep using it until I fall in love. Just kidding, I'm gonna give it a couple more tries. Sometimes mascaras, they need more than one effort because once air gets in here, it kind of, I don't know, breathes life into it, I guess. So we're going to give this a full week. If it does not work, then I'm going to just chalk it up as it is what it is. I do notice a little bit more than yesterday, okay? I'm not gonna lie. So you're playing hard to get, bitch. Okay, we'll keep using you. Damn, this is water activated, so anytime I cry, it's gonna go. All right, let's go with lashes. I don't want to go so dramatic, but I feel like it brings it a little drama. I have lashes that I need to play with. You know what I'm saying? I can't, because I'm going to take away from the look. I'm going to go in with some Ardell Studio Effects. The way I came in. Creep. Now let's go in and let's do something nice to the bottom lash line. We're going to go in with the ColourPop Crim gel liner and this one is in sub zero now i want to go in with sunday fun day and we're using the royal lane nickel smudger first let's just tap that in and lightly smudge we're gonna go in with a morphe g18 and we're going to pick up acai bowl right here i always want to say that from a thug like acai i don't know why all right now we're going to just lightly Blend that underneath our eyeball, our bottom lash line. I do want to add a little bit of blue. I just keep seeing it and I'm like, should I? All right, let's go in with Hang Out. And I'm going to connect it from the blue eyeliner we did and just kind of just lightly bring it in. But halfway, not all the way, just half. Now we're going to go in with the mascara. We're going to give this one another chance, remember? All right, let's go with Scramble. Let's see how Scramble will look. Oh, that looks pretty. So just adding just a little bit. It did it for me. It did it. All right. I will be swatching these two colors for you guys. The two wine shades that they have in here, which is so freaking cute. So first one, this one. It doesn't have a name on it. So here is that color. Last one is this one. This is more of like a mauve wine. They're so nice and velvety. I'll probably wear this one. And there is that shade. Alrighty, love, so here is the finished look. I'm really glad that I went with the color that my babe said, went out of the box, because I really wanted just to chill up here. I really, really did. So, I really think this is such a pretty palette. They did such an amazing job. Love you, so brunch, super cute. Haven't really seen that many people talk about it, but definitely go pick it up. You won't be disappointed. There's a lot for you to do. You can play it safe or be very, very dramatic and do something outside of the box. Profusion does have liquid eyeliners. I did want to play with the one that I had though, but they do have liquid eyeliners if you want to recreate the look and go in with the blue. So let's go over the products real quick. The palette I think is absolutely beautiful. They did amazing. I love it. It's super, super cute. The wine shades I thought were very pretty, very velvety. Looks really nice and soft on the lips, not drying at all. You won't be disappointed whichever one you pick. They definitely should have came out with a nude. Just for us nude lovers, it would have been beautiful. I really love the glitter. The glitter the glitter was very, very nice. When I popped it on the lid, it stayed. Even if I was like, oh, 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 maybe, nope. Nope, it stayed. So this is a face and body glitter. Beautiful. I love it. I like, I like the little sparkle that I put on there. The highlighter, I did like the highlighter. It's very moussey, has a moussey texture. I did apply some right there. I liked it. Don't really have any complaints about it. 
it did the job and it was very like the texture is really cool the last thing was the sparkling lip topper i did not use it but i definitely will in future videos it would it swatched beautifully you could even use it as a lip gloss i think you could get away with using it as a gloss but that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed the look let me know what you guys think down below will you guys be picking this up will you not do you guys like the look do you guys want me to create a more natural everyday makeup look let me know i will do that for you guys let me know down below thank you so much you guys besos a todos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye